welcome to Bourbon and a Baby. My name is Jay, this is Max, and today I wanted to talk about my New Year's 2020 parenting resolutions. Now I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I've never been a New Year's resolutions type person. I've always thought they were kind of dumb. <laughs> but to each their own, right? Uh, but now that I'm a dad, a lot of things have changed for me and this is one of those things. So uh, when I came to thinking about New Year's resolutions, I didn't think about things that I wanted to do necessarily for myself, uh, but I wanted to think of things that would make me uh, be a better dad for this little guy. So um, I have a list here and we're just gonna go through those. All right, so my first uh, New Year's 2020 parenting resolution is I want to read to him more, uh, which is kind of funny because I made a video, you can check it out here, about how important it is to read to your child. Um, and I do read the max, I just don't, I haven't made it a routine. Um, I don't do it regularly, I just kind of do it when it happens to come up on a whim. Uh, so I want to make it more of a daily routine thing, something I do, uh, make sure I do, uh, whether it's uh, you know just at night time before he goes to bed, or maybe a couple of times a day even would be even better. So something along those lines. I just want to make it more of a routine to make sure that I'm reading to him every single day. All right, my second resolution is that I want to do more activities with Max, uh, which is going to be a little bit easier now that he's getting a little bit older. Um, and you know, it's not that we didn't do things together before. Um, but I just want to do more things like just going on walks or taking him to the park. Uh, you know, going to uh, even though he's not going to fully understand it, uh, maybe going to like a museum or a historical site or something along those lines. I just want to do more activities like that with him. All right, number three on the list is I want to play with him a little bit more. Uh, and what I mean by that is that a lot of times uh, he's got all kinds of toys so we just kind of let him loose on our living room floor with all of his toys and, and he does a great job of keeping himself entertained and, and playing by himself um, and that's usually a time where, where you know I can do some things or sometimes it's just a time where I'll watch TV or I'll be on my phone or something stupid like that so I want to take more advantage of those times and, and play with him a little bit more actively um, be more involved in that uh, so a little bit less phone time a little bit less TV time uh, and a little more max time all right number four uh, I want to introduce him to more and more music this is something that I, I already do but I want to continue to do it and, and do it on, on an even larger scale Max really tends to enjoy music a lot in fact his favorite band uh, from the time that he was a baby has been the Smashing Pumpkins uh, in particular the song 1979 uh, he would be as a baby uh, a baby baby he would be scream crying and you could play that song and he would stop uh, he'd stop crying and, <laughs> and he would listen to the song right but and so uh, I just want to do that more and more he like he, he, he likes orchestral music as well um, he really likes Peter and the Wolf uh, so I just want to kind of introduce him to things like that even if I could take him to like uh, uh, an, an orchestra concert or something I think is something that he would really enjoy as well so uh, I want to continue to introduce him to more and more music Number five is that I want to have a tighter, more strict schedule with Max. Um, we don't have like a solid, strict, tight bedtime for him. We have kind of more of a time frame that he goes to bed, um, you know, but I, we don't have a, a solid time that he wakes up every morning. Um, we're more in generalities when it comes to things like that. Even his feeding schedule, just kind of, um, you know, we have. Uh, it's not completely random, but it's not uh, like strict, like he eats around this time every single day. It's not very structured. So uh, that's something I want to work on uh, this coming up year is to be a little bit more structured and have a, have a much tighter schedule with those things with Max. Because it's not only going to uh, be good for him, but it'll be good for me as well. <laughs> Number six, I want to continue to establish family traditions. Um, this was something that I thought was really important around the holiday season. Uh, and and uh, I think we did a good job of starting to create some family traditions around the holidays. Uh, but I want to continue that out throughout the rest of the, uh, throughout the whole year and, and just establish more and more family traditions. Things that we can look forward to doing uh, 
more often, uh, you know, every year and things like that. So establishing family traditions. All right, and finally, number seven, last but not least on the list is I want to make more of an effort to visit extended family members. Um, uh, everybody loves seeing Max and they want to see him as, as he grows up. And it's admittedly been an area that uh, I've been pretty bad at in, unless it's you know a special event or a holiday or something where you normally get together with extended family. So I'd like to make more of an effort to uh, you know visit extended family members uh, more and more often. Uh, this year and in the future. So that is my list for my 2020 New Year's resolutions, parenting resolutions. Uh, what about you? Do you have any parenting resolutions? Uh, what are some things that you would like to do differently uh, this coming up year? Uh, what about, uh, what do you think of my list? Do you, are there things that uh, you would add or are there things that you would subtract? Let me know what you think. Um, and uh, make sure that you uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, give the video a thumbs up if you, if you liked it. Um, you can follow Max and myself on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We're at Bourbon and a Baby on all of those platforms. And last but not least, you can buy Bourbon and a Baby merchandise at our shop on Spreadshirt. Tell them the link, Max. He said the link's going to be in the description below. All right, thanks a lot for watching. Say bye. Max says bye.